In the Toolman workshop today, we're looking at the Epson TMT82 III or version 3 printer. Now this is just a USB one, so you couldn't use this with an iPad for example. This would just be for Windows and um, possibly Mac. But today we're looking at Windows. What we'll do, get the box open. Let's see what's in there. So we've got a simple user guide. Oh, yep, very basic that one. Bit of cardboard. Got the power cord. Oh, this comes with a USB cable. That's good because some of the network printers you don't have them. So it's good to see it comes with a cable you need. And there's a very small paper roll that you could use to get you started. Okay, let's lift up that bit of polystyrene. And here we find the actual printer. Sizable printer. Not as small as like the TMM30. But yeah, and it's got a bit of weight to it too, you know. So, let's have a look here. You know, the lid feels alright. It's, um, feels like it pushes down properly. You'd want to make sure you're pushing it down properly on the top. Otherwise it'll wear this little plastic gear out here. Okay, let's put some paper in it and see if we can connect it up to the Windows machine. Okay, let's get this printer plugged in. So, first thing you'll do is get your USB cable. Tip the printer upside down, all the connections are right there. So, the USB cable is going to go into that one. Don't plug the other end into the computer yet. And the reason this printer has some weight to it is the power supply is built in there. So, all you're doing is plugging the power cord into it. So, make sure you've got it around the right way. And the only other thing you'll need then is to plug the cash drawer in. So the printer supplies the power for the cash drawer to fire. So on the cash drawer you have a printer connector like this. And you just plug that into that one. At a weird angle here, try not to upset the camera. Okay, hopefully you can see there how that works. Next we're going to put some paper in it. So, set that down. With this one you just hold it on both sides and then push it up. Don't just do it from one angle because it's um yeah it's not a great mechanism there, it won't last forever. It's quite an inexpensive printer relatively speaking this one. Make sure you've got the paper going in so the gaps at the front here. If you put it upside down you won't get anything printing out on it. Here push that down hard tear that off. Now you're going to want to do a reset. So what you do for that is hold down the feed button. So on the front here you'll see there's a couple of buttons there. You're going to want to hold down that feed one and then push the power button in while you've got the feed one held down. And you can let it go when it starts printing. Press the feed button again and that's the end of its little test thing. You'll see that should all print out. Nicely like that. Okay, let's get some drivers loaded on this Windows PC so we can get it working. Okay, so all of that to finally get to the download page. So what I'll do is just give you this link here and then you'll come to this page. So all you have to do is scroll down to here, tick on the accept and then go download. And then you'll see your driver downloading in the corner there. Just click on it to open the zip file. And this one here is the one we want to be using. So we'll double click it and it'll probably tell us that we need to extract it. So just go extract all. Make sure you've got show extracted files when complete ticked there. And then go extract. And it should just open up with what we want there. 
So now double click on that one there, the APD604. Um, if you've downloaded this after I've made this video, they might have released a newer version, so it might not be 604, could be a different number there. But the important thing is that it's the 82 version 3 driver that we want. So we'll double click that. Click on yes, we do want to allow that to make changes. We're going to click on next here. Click agree, you can read through that if you want to. Click on install. Okay cool, so we've got here new printer model port. 82.3 receipt and so we want to change this COM port here to be USB and it's auto setup and we'll go well you can set it as the default printer if you want to if it's the only printer that you've got on the machine if you've got another printer that you use for doing like A4 printing and stuff like that you might not want it to be the default but if you've got a POS machine you're just using for POS then you would want it to be the default printer and you'd go save settings okay let's plug that USB port in now so we'll get the USB cable plug that into the USB port and there we go just like that now there's a couple of final things we need to do to get it working properly with light speed so what we want to do is close all of this stuff down you want to go into the settings on your machine go into devices and printers and scanners and we should see our receipt printer there Epson TMT 82 version 3 receipt just click on that and then go manage we're going to go into printer preferences I think it is peripherals we want peripherals cash drawer and we want the cash drawer number one to open operation check and you'll see cash drawer tries to pop open if I didn't have it locked so I didn't smash the camera over which I learnt the hard way okay okay on that so now we've got it so it's opening the cash drawer every time it prints a receipt okay so once you're in light speed what you want to do is go into setup down the bottom here and just check that you've got it set under outlets and registers make sure that you have edit to the register so that it says print receipt here yes print note on receipt don't want to do that show discounts yes select user for next sale no we just wanted to say logged in email receipt no print receipt yes okay that's what we want for making this work now we're going to go back to our sales so go back to this one Now if we sell a product, go into pay, go cash, and then complete sale. Here you can choose your printer. In our case it is the TMT823 receipt. Go into more settings here. Just make sure that this is set to the 80ml paper. Um, Margins, I, I like to put this to none or minimum, so if you go none, see how it stretches everything out properly. Um, minimum just gives it a little bit of a gap, so you can have a play and see what you like best, but I think minimum works good. Um, scale, just set to 100%, shouldn't have to mess with that. Headers and footers, we want to untick that, because that will stop it from printing lots of extra paper. And then we're going to print it. Cash drawer opens. 
receipt comes out correctly. Cool. Just like that. If you've got any questions, get in touch with us here at Till Man. Thank you.